Well, it's great to have uh, Richard Bugs with me. And um, Richard, you very kindly have agreed to be our, our guest speaker at our service um, today. So thank you very much for that. I thought people might like to get to know you a little bit before we hear you speak. So maybe you can tell us a bit about your, yourself and your family and, and where you are at the moment. Well, I live in uh, Kew with my wife and my son, and my wife's actually expecting our second baby in just a week's time. Oh, so uh, we're on ten to hooks at the moment. If I have to rush off during this interview, you'll <laughs> you'll know what's happened. Right? Have you got the back of the car packed with everything you need at hospital? We've got all the bags packed. Yeah. 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 Right. So uh, all ready to go at a moment's notice. Um, and you have got some connections with Cambridge, is that right? Tell us about that. Well, I was an undergraduate in Cambridge from uh, 1997 to 2000. I was at Trinity Hall and uh, yeah, really enjoyed my time at Cambridge, both um, academically uh, and also as a Christian. I grew a huge amount during my three years at Cambridge as a Christian. And so you, you, you were studying sciences, natural sciences at Cambridge, I'm guessing? We are studying natural sciences, yeah, and uh, specialised in plant sciences in my final year and that's where my subsequent career has been. So tell us a little bit about that. People may be uh, wondering why we've asked you to come and speak about um, whether evolution disproves God. So um, tell us a bit about your, your academic work, your career. So my PhD was in evolutionary ecology of a couple of very closely related plant species. And from then on I did a, a did some postdoctoral work at the University of Florida on evolutionary genetics, again, of plants. And then I came back to the UK uh, to Queen Mary University of London. And I spent a number of years there, first as a research fellow, then as a senior lecturer, then as a reader, and now as a professor. But as well as working at Queen Mary now, I also work at Kew Gardens, uh, which is one of the UK's largest plant science research institutes, as well as being uh, the, the well-known gardens. It's, and uh, there I do lots of research on how trees evolve in response to pests and pathogens. Great. Um, so hearing all of that, some people might be thinking, well, you know, you, you've obviously devoted a lot of time and energy to science. Um, and you know quite a lot about that and they might be quite surprised to hear that you've got a, a Christian faith and that that's important to you. Um, do, do you feel there's a conflict, a tension between those two things? There, there is a tension between some scientists and the Christian faith. I, you know, I, I wouldn't uh, deny that at all. Some scientists are very um, passionate atheists and will draw on their scientific credentials uh, to try and make their case. Um, you know, well-known examples, of course, include Richard Dawkins. And I find that actually my science intersects positively with my faith on several levels. One level is that as Christians, we believe that we're stewards of nature you know everything is god's creation and we're we're given a role of being stewards of it and so we have to look after it and so we need to be concerned about our environment and conserving species and so at that level my faith really positively interacts with what i do my my evolutionary research is trying to conserve ash trees in particular in the landscape of britain and North America in the face of pests and pathogens that have been introduced by humans. And I would very much see that as part of uh, the, the, the mandate that um, God gives us to look after the natural world. So that's one level at which there's a, there's a very clear and positive interaction between my science and my faith. Mm. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your uh, your Christian faith, how did that become important to you? I'd always been a, a cultural Christian and would always have said, yes, the Bible is true, but, but a, an actual heartfelt trust in Jesus as my, as my saviour didn't really come until I was in the sixth form at school. 
I don't think. Mm. And so in many ways, I was going up to university as a new Christian, um, even though I'd been in a Christian home all my life and um, just found the, the Christian atmosphere in the different churches and Christian Union at Cambridge really helpful to my growth. I think I grew a huge amount in those three years. Mm. So you, you've described um, Christian faith as being about trusting in a, a saviour. Um, can you unpack that a little bit for anyone who perhaps isn't, isn't familiar with that? What would you say is the, the kind of real essence of, of Christian faith for you? I think the essence is, first of all, to realise that we ourselves are deeply flawed and very, very imperfect. And that even though we might want to do good things, we struggle to know what the right things are to do. And even when we figure out what they are, we're, we still find ourselves unable to do them. You know, we fail to live up even to the standards that we set ourselves. And God's standards for us are so much higher than, than our standards are for ourselves. And we fail miserably to meet those standards. And so we have to come to God as people who really don't have anything to contribute. You know, the best we can do is a failure. But then the great, the great news of the gospel is that Jesus came to earth as a man, but as the son of God and lived a completely perfect life, but then took on himself the punishment that we deserve from our failures. And so not only does he give to us a perfect life, but he also takes away um, all of the consequences of our own wrongdoing and gives us life. And he can do that because he is the son of God, because he is divine that enabled him to be able to, to do all of those different things that he needed to be able to do in order to save us. And so we, we can trust in him and know that it's not down to our own efforts. And despite our failures, a perfect God can accept us. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for um, agreeing to, uh, to be our, our guest speaker um, today. And it's been Pleasure. a pleasure to, to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Claire Mason. I'm a member of uh, St Matthew's Church family. And we're now going to pray to talk to God. Um, and I'm going 